In this workflow video about the design phase pre-design, I'll provide an overview of different strategies that you can effectively apply for adding value to your design process using multiple tools in a combined holistic green BIM process and show how different insights from simulations and modeling techniques can improve the foundation for your design development. An important factor in sustainable design development is the implementation of phase methodology in relation to BIM. In the phase of pre-design, what we are looking for here is really an enhanced understanding of the specific climate, microclimate and physical context. In this phase, we are really working with creating critical information that we want to use as inspiration and enhanced understanding of our specific site. Tools like the weather tool within Site Ecotech can provide valuable insight on orientation, solar radiation, passive design strategies, and different kind of data that we want to implement. Within Site Vasari and Revit, we can really get valuable data by the web-based service for climate data making sure that we're getting specific microclimate no more than 14 kilometers away from site. So whether we're working in Vasari or Revit or Ecotech, what we're looking for in this phase is really the specific microclimate and doing quantitative analysis that can serve as reference in the following design development. Looking like things like being able to understand our, the project climate in relation to the local climate the individual designer are used to working in and being able to do comparison to see the changes in design strategies for this specific site is crucial. So really the phase of pre-design is really all about understanding the specific climate using tools like Weather Tool, Masari and Revit for doing reference simulations that can serve as a measuring point and design inspiration in the following process. Another important factor working with phase methodology is which kind of simulations and modeling detailing we want to implement in different phases. To make BIM and simulation a very effective process, it's a good strategy starting out only modeling a very simple context model that we can use for making reference simulations and that can be easily imported for doing studies in multiple applications like a good workflow be between Revit, Vasari and Ecotech. At this stage here, we can, with inside Vasari, really look at things like shadows to do reference shadow simulations of the context. We can do solar radiation analysis of the existing context, as I show in some of the other videos on, on the website. And we can do wind simulations with the, the built-in and we can take in wind roses and stuff like that directly in here. All things that we can save out as numeric data to compare with the solution that we bring in. So really, in this phase, only working with a simple context model that we can easily bring in to Ecotech for doing other simulations than we can do with inside Vasari and Revit, looking at, in this case, the amount of sunlight hours or the quantitative amount of sun coming to our space and shadows and other important simulations. Really here, it's what kind of simulations you want to implement is really depending on your project but some simulations are effective to implement as a kind of a part of your design strategy. So in the pre-design phase here, quantitative simulations that can choose or can serve as reference for the later design development and that we are actually able to bring in to tools like Revit for using in the design development later on in the process. And of course, as valid documentation for the passive and active strategies that we're implementing in the project. Conclusions and next steps is always an important factor in every phase of design. But what we can derive from the phase of pre-design is really an enhanced understanding of our specific site and microclimate based on simulations that we can do on the specific context and more conceptual climate analysis that we can use for choosing which kind of orientation, which kind of orientation and shelter we want to make on exterior spaces. So really at this point of 
design, try not to be frustrated about not taking too many decisions. This is all about creating the reference around the project and making sure that climate and microclimate and physical context are elements implemented in your specific design development.